good morning to you, Guy Watson here, Bogner Regis Bonsai. I suddenly realised I haven't made a video for a week and I've got some a bit of a few jobs coming up. This is one of them. It's a Catoniaster Cascade that I actually call the Creeper. I've named it after an episode of Thunderbirds where they had a creeper machine that actually pulled trees out by the roots. But this is, I think it looks a bit like that with all its legs everywhere. So this is the Creeper Catoniaster. You must have seen it probably on the bench. Um, behind some of my shots I've been taking of trees in the past. I mean, I know Tony commented on the leaves of the Catoniaster, but they've now dropped. And now is the ideal time to get in there, remove little branches I don't need. So we'll have a go at doing that. I mean, I'm going to have to bring you in a bit closer on a lot of them. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. Right. OK, well, starting down here, we've also got lots of little growth coming from cr the crotch of joints which aren't needed. Oh I'm all butterfingers now. Use some scissors. There we go they can go. Um, there are twigs coming from under here. Don't need them. That's not ne it's just a general clean up this branch here coming from the joint lots of clean up needed here. Uh, we'll shorten that one to an outward facing bud. And likewise that one. Need branches in, twigs in here, don't need these coming from the crutches. Right, I don't need that at the top. I will, I will try and get in here. I do want to clean this up a bit. That's slightly better. Right, well I've got you at this angle. Let's just see what else we could find over here. There's a little branch there going in. Chop that off. That one's going back towards the tree. We'll chop that off. And over here, can you see that? Yes. And chop those off. We'll shorten this one. Go to an outward facing branch. Let's see if we can go to there. Now I think we need to adjust the camera. Put you up a bit, because I need to get up here. Right, there are branches here that just need to be chopped off. Also, I know it's not a normal cascade, this um, Catoniaster, but I think it might have something in the end. And I quite like it, so that's what matters. I have to look at it. This piece here is too long, isn't it? So we'll take it to a branch going that way, perhaps even shorter. Let's just take it back to that one for now. Still looks too long. Oh, we'll have to leave that like that. Give some room there. Take the tip off. Take the tip off that one, the tip off this one. Don't think we need that bud in there. Can you see that still? Yes. Right, it's a bit of a mess in here. Clean that up. Take that one back to an outward facing bud going that way. Leave that one. Leave that one just for now. I don't. Right, let's see about moving the camera around. Okay, well, up in this section, we've got another 
inward growing thing then from the inside of a curve. We'll take that one off, clean this up towards the end, towards the middle. There we go. Um, don't want a branch coming out here. So we'll chop those off. Shorten this one. Um, well that's just a twig there. So, what do they call it? Stub. So we'll take that off. This one here is going up straight up, so we'll chop that off. And I th think that might have got that little twig sorted out. Okay, well moving on down, we've got this branch here which is way too straight. Let's cut it off there, hoping that we can promote some growth out in this direction. Don't want these little things in the crotch again. Can't get in there. There we go. Yes, I have been waiting for a bit of a break in the weather when it's still wet. We do some more rain later on. I know Tony's been doing a lot of his videoing inside. Trim this one back. But I do like being outside surrounded by the trees, so I tend to wait till I can get out. Ah, now this one, that's coming right from the inside of that bend, so we'll take that one off. That one there looks to go going in the wrong angle, so we'll have that off as well. This one needs shortening back. That one's too near the main trunk. Right, I've been told off by, I've forgotten his name now, I've said I've said right too often, I've done it again haven't I? There we are then, let's move the thing, move the camera around. Okay, moving down to this section, there's some more that needs to come off there, too close to the main trunk. Don't There's actually another bud in there. Right. Oh, there we go again. Right. Too many branches from here, so I'll take this one here off. And in fact, no, I'll leave that one just for now. But what we'll do, we'll chop this one off to an outward facing bud. Oh, that wind's not coming too strong on the video. I'll find out when I come to edit this. Although I don't do much editing overall. As I say, what you see is what you get. Can you see that? Yes, it's still in view. Too many coming from that one, so I'll have that off. Um... Don't actually need that one there, so take that off. Too many coming from up here all at once. Take the end off this one. I quite like the way this one's coming out, so we'll leave that. Leave that one. Let's move the camera down now. Right, we can finish off this branch now on this view. That doesn't look right. That's better. That's much more like it. And we'll take the end of this one off. Oh, nearly blew my wig off then. And this one's too, too, too near the inside curve.
There. We can get these off here. Um, take, just take the tip off that one. It's okay. And have I got a bud on this one? Actually, looking at this, I don't think we actually need that branch, but I just take this end of it off now for now. Just leave this one growing along. Take the end of that off. Down here. Actually, that's not looking too bad down here. That's getting too long. So... No. Leave that for now. Let's take the end of that off. Too close to the sea, you see, that's what it is. Right, I think that tidies that area up. Okay, let's move the camera and we'll go over to the other side of the tree. Okay, so this is the other side. We've got more growth here coming out from the inside of a bend. To take that back to an outward facing bud. Take that one off. This one is very too close to the main trunk coming out. Have that one away. Don't need two on there. That's too too much going on inside there. Don't need that from there. That's going to create a create a bulge. Um. Take that one back to there. This one we want to go to an outward facing bud. Take that one back to there. This is too long, we'll go to an outward facing one on that one as well. Too much there, so we'll take that one away. Just tidy up these small growths that's coming out of this one. that bit done. This one here will chop the end off and again here to promote further back buddy. Can you see up here? No. So we're going to have to move the camera around. Hang on then. Yes, you can see now. Right, oh, there we go again, my right. Take that one off, inside of a curve here. It's looking a bit of a mess, all needs to tidy up. It's going back into the tree. It's coming out at the wrong angle. We'll let this one go, because that's coming straight towards us. Um, take the end off so it doesn't get too straight. Likewise with that one. Oh, that's an interesting shape. Can you see up there? Well, I'll have a look at that in a minute. That's on the inside, going inward to the tree. Um, in actual fact, you know, I don't like this one coming through here at all, and I'll be just been trimming it. We'll take that one right off. There we go. Right, let's um, turn the camera off and I'll show you this interesting branch up here. Okay, well here's this branch up here. Comes from here and turns up, comes right round and comes down here strange looking thing going right back on itself. I'm not too sure if I like that to be honest with you. It doesn't look right. 
Um, but does it fill in a space? To be honest, I'm not sure. Um, without it, with it. I've got to have a think about that one. I will pull pull the camera back and have a look. Well, I've had a look at this, and if I don't have it, it makes this area look a bit bare in here. Are we recording? Yes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that. I'll just take the end of it off a bit. Um, yep. And we'll take off these bits that are growing at the top here. Uh, just take the end off that so it doesn't shoot out. Right, so we'll leave that at that and just see how it goes in the future. Right, well I think that's virtually all the pruning up that I've got to do. So let's take you back and have an overall view of the, of the tree. Well okay, I've looked at the overall view of the tree and I think that's how it's going to stand for now. Let's just give you a quick spin of it, if I can, without not hanging down. Actually, just looking at it there. There's growth under here we don't need. There we go. Right, let's continue to spin around. Oh, a great big crack in the pot I see there. Oops, that needs a new pot in the summer then, in the spring. I'll put that on the list to do. got in the cold weather. Just take these off down here. And there's the front of it. Quickly, quickly go round again. And there we are, back to the front. So, I think we'll call that a day for, for today. And the next one I've got to sort out a bit of foliage that's overgrown, so we'll have a go at that later on. But that's, that's the Catoniaster done. Thank you very much. See you soon.